And if you ever wondered how the power of a community can shape the future of a project, well, let me tell you the story about a Solana-based decentralized exchange aggregator called Jupiter. After the successful launch of its native token GUP through the LFG launchpad, Jupiter's founder, known by the pseudonym Meow, took to social media to share some exciting news. Meow announced that Jupiter was planning to launch three new tokens through its launch pad. But here's the interesting part. The community would have the final say in which projects would be included, and Meow described the LFG launch pad as an initiative to support promising projects and help them thrive in the long term. He presented three potential projects to the community that consideration. The first one was Sanctum, a liquid staking service but had experience in building the first SPL program used by stake pools. The second project called Sharky, an NFT collateralization platform, but allowed NFT holders to borrow and lend against their assets. And finally, there was DBridge, a cross-chain infrastructure provider that enabled fast asset trader without the need for wrapped assets or liquidity pools. Niao made it clear that the decision-making power rested with the Solana users, the Jupiter team would not interfere in the selection process, the community would discuss and decide with if these projects were suitable for launch on the LFG platform. To facilitate the discussion, Jupiter planned to introduce the projects to the community through various channels over the next two weeks. In addition to this exciting announcement, Jupiter also provided an update on the JUP token. After the JUP launch pool closed, 90 million JUP tokens were withdrawn and moved on to a cold multi-sid wallet, effectively reducing their circulation. The launch pool still held 65.5 million USDC, which would serve as a liquidity backstop for JUP. However, over the next few months, the USDC would be gradually removed in $10 million batches. This move aimed to allow the JUP token to regain price discovery while assuring participants for the team's commitment to a long-term withdrawal of USDC liquidity. Uh, but Jupiter had even bigger plans for the future, now revealed the intention to establish a decentralized anonymous organization within the project. Uh, the Jot DAO would evolve into the, uh, the most dynamic and productive DAO in the space, and its initial focus would be on evaluating and uh, approving launchpad projects, ratifying budgets for working groups, uh, approving grants, and funding community and ecosystem initiatives. Uh, to encourage community participation, Jupiter planned to distribute 75% of future LFG launchpad fees to governance participants. They would also provide incentives for voting, uh, including 100 million JUP or in front of the LFG launchpad. Uh, the operational funds from the JUP launch uh, would further support the DAO's activities. And now, for a lighthearted ending to our story, why did the cryptocurrency go to Jupiter? Because it wanted to launch to the moon. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, they.